Uh, we started the Hannibal History Museum two years ago in this space, and uh, I think we were surprised at not only the response that we got for the museum, but how well attended some of our special events have been. And uh, for example, we've been doing Molly's Irish Shindigs here this winter, and each time the band sets up and we get the crowd in and we start trying to serve food, it's just a little too crowded for us. And so we're very excited to be moving into a space that's larger, has a little more exposure, being on the corner there at Center and Main. And, uh, it was originally the Molly Brown Dinner Theater years ago, so I think it's kind of come full circle. We'll be performing Molly Brown events at the new museum. You guys will be right next to the Mark Twain Museum. Mm -hmm. What I think is interesting is Hannibal obviously isn't just all Mark Twain and Tom Sawyer. Right. So with being in the new location right across the street, what do you hope people see when they leave that museum and look into yours? Well, um, a lot of what we look at when we're putting together our ideas for the museum is looking at it through the eyes of someone who is coming to Hannibal specifically because uh, not just out of entertainment, but they want to be educated about the place they're visiting. So it's, I guess some people call it heritage tourism. It's kind of like that. But the idea is if I were coming in and I saw all these wonderful old buildings and I knew about Mark Twain or Sam Clemens, that is, I'd say, why? How did this happen? How did this town become so wealthy? What is the story behind it? Instead of going strictly uh, academic, very dry facts, we really want to give the background to the context. And so what we're going to be doing, what we have been doing, and what the Mark Twain Museum is doing isn't necessarily mutually exclusive, but very complementary. What their range is and what our range is are two different ranges, but they set each other off very, very well. So that's what we hope to really uh, work with. We hope we can uh, both be able to help each other as we have been for the past couple of years on this. I think I'll comment on that too. Go ahead. I think what's wonderful is uh, we have a very good relationship with the Mark Twain Museum and we try and co-sponsor events and cross-promote each other and by having both museums close to each other it really tells the whole picture of the whole story of Hannibal's history. So you come to Hannibal to visit with Mark Twain and his boyhood home but while you're here you can also learn all the history behind the scenes and all the other prominent people that came from Hannibal and Hannibal has such a rich history and there's a lot more to Hannibal than just Mark Twain so we're happy to work with them and kind of tell the whole story. One of the challenges that we've had so far at the museum is that uh, we've gotten some wonderful items donated but we always joke that everything we have donated weighs 5,000 pounds. We have an elevator from the 1860s, we've got big giant pieces of furniture so we need help. Uh, the museum is definitely volunteer driven, it's all uh, supported by donations and so we're looking for any cash donations to help with the move but also just volunteers to come and physically help us pick up furniture and move it across the street. Uh, also anyone that has ugly two by fours or drywall or paint supplies anything that we could use to help reconstruct the exhibits at the new space we would really appreciate it. If anyone has any of that kind of material or if they'd like to volunteer to help they could visit our website which is haunt, uh, I'm sorry, visit our website, which is HannibalHistoryMuseum.com. It has our phone numbers and all the information about the move, and we'd be delighted for any help that we could receive. Yep, anybody who gets in uh, and is able to help us this month can consider himself kind of an architect of the space because mm -hmm. we are going to need to do some things to the structure before we can move in. And uh, so it's really three M's, as a friend of mine used to say. It's money, manpower, and materials. Um, but that's, that's normal for a museum. Mm -hmm. So. And any donations made, whether it's materials or cash donations, are all tax deductible because we are a 501c3 with the Marion County. Let me say it again. Mm -hmm. Because we are a 501c3 with the Marion County Historical Society.